Good afternoon. I think most of you guys know me. I'm Nathan Hewer. I was the uh, chair for the platform committee. Um, we've got very limited time this time, a little bit shorter than we normally do per proposal that's, that's uh, on the table. So I'm going to try and make sure that we go through these um, in, a, in a quick manner while still covering all the applicable details. So uh, with that being said, the current delegate count is at 76. We require a two-thirds vote. That would be 51 for a pass. Uh, when we vote on these, we will do a standing vote, so votes in favor, and then uh, stand, and then votes against, and stand. Um, and then 51 will be a passing uh, majority here, two thirds majority. If you turn in your convention packets to proposal one, just after the committee members, who should have a proposal one. We'll start there. So this was passed with 15 to 0 against by the, com uh, by the committee. Uh, existing, shown on top, proposed below, and then the, the final reading is under the revised. So should these pass, you know, the platform will be amended as uh, written and revised. And then you'll find on each of these a rationale for uh, why we are proposing this change. So in the interest of time, I'm going to read the revised version and, and uh, identify anything that has changed that is highlighted and shown in your proposed version. <clears throat> so in this case, we propose under section of, uh, three, number 11, we propose to remove the word one and replace it with individuals as shown underlined under proposed. So should that be passed, the platform number, uh, platform three, section three, number 11, will read, we deny the legitimacy of criminal prosecutions of persons who have victimized no individuals to prevent the false prosecutions. We affirm the right of the alleged victims to end prosecution by freely asserting their objection to it. This does not preclude prosecution in cases where a victim remains silent, nor shall it preclude prosecutions where a victim has been coerced into objecting. The rationale for that is this language keeps the same general meaning, but it has clearer wording. So I will take some discussion on that if there is any. Call the question. Second. Second. Okay, we have a call to question. We have that seconded, so we will take a vote. And as I said before, we're going to do a standing vote. So if in favor, I'll have you raise your hand or stand. Uh, if you're not able to stand, you can just raise your hand. Is this a vote on calling the question or on the change? Thank you, Bill. It is a call. This is a call to question. So this is a vote on calling the question. So all in favor of calling this to question, say I, uh, no, sorry, raise your hand or stand. Thank you. Okay, I believe that's a clear two-thirds majority, so we will call that question. So this is a uh, call. This is a, a vote on the main motion to adopt this into our proposal or into our platform as read under the revised. All in favor of this uh, of this motion, raise your hand. Okay. All opposed, raise your hand. I think that is a clear two-thirds motion passes. Okay, we are on proposal two. Um, on the top, you'll see the existing, that is as it is currently written. The proposed section identifies again uh, what the changes are. Uh, if you see a stricken through, that is a proposal to remove. The other highlighted, or highlighted and underlined portions are what we would be adding. So anything that is stricken through is being removed. It's not stricken through and it's highlighted and underlined that's to be added. So I will read as it, uh, as it would read should it pass. 
This is under section five, vice laws, point four. The natural, lawful, un unalienable, and absolute rights of the citizens of Michigan to cultivate and utilize cannabis, psilocybin mushrooms, <coughs> and other naturally occurring entheogenic substances shall not be infringed. All local and state laws regarding cannabis and entheogenic substances should not uh, should be repealed, nullified, or otherwise abrogated. All nonviolent cannabis and entheogenic substance related convictions should be overturned with full retroactive application and expunged from those individuals' records. The re Thanks, Scotty. Is that going to be Can you identify where that would be? It's simply a point of order. I think it's a point of order. Okay. Is there information order? Two things. So instead of another, it is and other? Oh, look, they already got okay. it. Okay. So we are, I'll get it for the error here. It's going to be shown correctly on the screen in your packet, in the second line under proposed where it says another, the word should be, it should read and other. There was a clerical error in uh, putting the doctors together. It's going to be shown up on the screen here, and I'll make sure to uh, read that one more time before we call before we take a vote. Yeah, I just wanted to, as a point of order, bring up, um, this is um, section five, I think it is in the, okay, this goes up. It's in our bylaws, and I'll read the, read the line. A um, majority shall rule at convention except for the platform resolutions of the party which shall require two thirds vote of those present. So when we had the count of people who were checked in, and then did the um, two thirds of that and got a number. That isn't necessarily gonna be the number of people present though when we vote on an item. So it is possible for a smaller number than that number to be a winning vote. Yeah, uh, so Scotty, that is correct. Um, the way we have done this in the past is if we hit 51, we know that we have a two thirds majority. If it is, uh, if it is below that number, we take a two-thirds and verify that we get two-thirds in case a couple of people step out. For example, if it was uh, if we had 50 and not 51, but two people stepped out, we would still be at two-thirds. Okay. I believe it's corrected on the screen there, but I'm having trouble seeing it. Um, do, okay, do we have any other discussion this item. Okay, I believe I need to read the rationale still. I think it, uh, I think we got sidetracked on that uh, change in wording. The rationale for this uh, change was intended to bring the platform in line with the initiative from decriminalize nature in mind. Do we have any additional discussion? If not, any calls to questions? Call questions. Second. Call the question in a second. Okay, so all in favor of calling to question, raise your hand. Okay, all opposed, raise your hand. Okay, no objection, we're going to vote on the main motion. So I will read that one more time with the correct wording. <clears throat> the natural, lawful, unalienable, and absolute right of the citizens of Michigan to cultivate and utilize cannabis, psilocybin, mushrooms, and, and other naturally occurring entheogenic substances shall not be infringed. All local and state laws regarding cannabis and entheogenic substances should be repealed, nullified, or otherwise abrogated. All nonviolent cannabis and entheogenic substance related convictions should be overturned with full retroactive application and expunged from those individuals' records. All in favor of, all in favor of adding this to the platform, um, raise your hand. Aye. Okay. All opposed, raise your hand. Okay, that, that passes with clear majority. 
we are on number three. <clears throat> Proposal is to remove the wording bypass constitutional, protection, constitutional protections and replace it with violate civil rights. As, um, as amended, it would read, random police roadblocks and other searches without probable cause violate civil rights and should be prohibited. The reason for this change, we believe that this is a violation of civil rights and we oppose violations of civil rights regardless of the protections a government document may or may not provide. Do we have any discussion? Looks like Scott. Perfect. Got a question? I, I, would, I wish to amend the motion to um, substitute the word um, individual for civil. Fails for lack of a second. I've got seconds on the floor here. So we do have a motion to amend and we have a second. May I speak to it? Yep, go ahead. Okay. The re yeah. Okay. And the, um, again, it's the random police roadblock. Okay, it would read with the amendment, it would change um, simply the word civil to individual. So it would read random police roadblocks and other searches without probable cause um, violate individual rights and should be prohibited. And the reason I'm picking that change is because a lot of people using the phrase civil rights think it would only be used in reference to equality, <coughs> demographic equality rights, if you will, based upon you know race, ethnicity, sex, whatever. Um, whereas really, you know, we're standing for individual rights, which of course apply to every individual without, within all those groups, but it's not just a matter of equality or fairness. Do we have any other discussion on the amendment this is specific to the amendment of replacing civil with individual. Is there any additional discussion on that? Call the question. Second. Call the question in a second. second. So we will have a vote on the amendment to replace civil with the word civil with individual. Scotty, you want this? So that would read, just make sure I got that right. Random police roadblocks and other searches without probable cause violate individual rights and should be prohibited. Okay. All in favor of the amendment to the proposal, raise your hand. Okay. All opposed, raise your hand. Okay. I think we need to take a actual vote on that. I was getting additional ones okay. as we were going there. So if you could leave those. Did that take a majority? Leave those. Just just a majority. That's a majority. Correct. Yeah. You're correct. You're correct. You're correct. So that class if it passes with a clear majority. So now the proposal would read, as Scotty stated, random police roadblocks and other searches without probable cause violate individual rights and should be prohibited discussion on that proposal. Yeah, I'd also propose an amendment to that. I don't know what the downside is, is to of eliminating the reference to the Constitution. If the point is to underscore that this is an individual or unalienable or civil rights, that's great, but we should leave the constitutional protection, recognition of it. So I would uh, propose an amendment that would leave the words um, bypass constitutional protections and insert the word and violate individual rights so that we're defending both the Constitution as well as the pre-existing nature of the right of privacy of state. Okay. Does that proposal have a second? Second. It's proposal and a second. So, and I'll give you a chance to catch up. If you could stay up just for a minute to make sure that he's writing that correctly. 
Yeah, require me to actually see it, so. <laughs> Are you speaking for or against the amendment? Against. Okay. Can you make that? Could, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it as well. I'm going to read it off as I understand it. If you could keep that, that this is correct. I believe the amendment would now read random police roadblocks and other searches without probable cause bypass constitutional protections and violate individual rights and should be prohibited. Is that correct? Okay. We have discussion on that amendment. Uh, Jim Fulner, our maid, I'd like to speak against the amendment. Um, so I was on the convention committee and uh, say do it to everybody. The rationale I had is different than the rationale our chair reported, but from my perspective, the, the change was very specifically to indicate that we support individual rights regardless of what the Constitution says. Yes. When I first joined the party, um, or actually not when I first joined, about a few years after I first joined, when, when Bad Narek was our uh, candidate for president, uh, he did a very good job of showing the, the nation that the federal government doesn't follow the Constitution. Unfortunately, too many new libertarians thought that was the goal of the Libertarian Party was to get the government to follow the Constitution. Even though the Constitution allows a lot of things which we're not in favor of, like the income tax. So it, I think it's important that we reiterate that libertarian values are beyond any state's constitution, beyond any government or lack thereof. I think another reason why ac across the party, within the various state affiliates and at the national level, We've tried to eliminate the constitutional wording uh, more recently is to try to bring us back in alignment with the uh, the Dallas Accord of, I think it was 1977, if my recollection corrects me. Hudler can correct me if I'm wrong. That's correct. Um, uh, on not ensuring that we do not come to a conclusion or we do not specifically promote whether or not a state should exist to allow both anarchists and minarchists to feel comfortable with the Libertarian Party. Any constitution can't exist without some sort of government. Thank you. I guess I'd like to have a point of order. I'm Andrew Hall, West Michigan delegate. So rule three of our convention rules states that all motions, resolutions, reports, and other material for the permanent record or printed proceedings must be electronically submitted, printed, or handwritten, and immediately on presentation be given to the recording secretary. So you're trying to claim, Andrew, that these are out of order? They're, they're talking about it. It needs to be in writing for our rules that you adopt. It needs to be handed to the secretary. Reading through, as I'm reading this, I believe this is saying all motions, resolutions, and reports, and a amendment would not fall under any of those. Is my interpretation. It's a motion to amend. Motion to amend. Motion. Motion to amend. 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 Motion Motion to amend was taken from the floor, and it was written down. And it was written down and presented to the uh, presented to the floor. Would it solve this problem? To motion to suspend the rules and allow verbal oh, amendments. <laughs> Thank you. Motion. So if I. Allow, right. allow okay. verbal amendments. Allow uh, verbal amendments. Keep doing what we're doing. So we have a motion. I, I don't. We have a motion to suspend the rules and allow verbal amendments from the floor. If it'll solve this, if if it does not, uh, if we're going to continue as we're doing already, then I retract that. <laughs> we have a motion. We have a second. And I believe we have support. Let's let's um, take a. Vote on that. Do we have a call to question on that? I, I would call to question. Call to question. Second. And I heard a second. 
So call the question to allow amendments from the floor. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed, raise your hand. That's a clear majority. That would require two thirds. That's called clear one thirds. Point of parliamentary procedure. Jim, go ahead. As a reminder to our chair that um, calling the question is not necessary if no one is seeking to be represented or to be recognized. It would be far easier if you simply ask if anyone can be recognized and then proceed with a vote thereafter. Thank you. Point of information. Go ahead. Is if you ha is it count to be submitting it in writing if somebody else um, keys it in to a computer for you? I'm not asking for that. I'm not asking if you're asking about the ability to make an amendment, right now we have suspended rules to allow uh, amendments from the floor. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need to We need to vote on the main motion. Okay, there appears to be confusion on this, so we're going to uh, reissue the. We are going to retake the vote. The motion was to suspend the rules to allow for amendments from the floor verbally 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 to allow amendments from the floor verbally we are voting on that that motion so if you're voting in favor vote uh, verbal amendments will be taken from the floor if you vote against this, it will have to be submitted in writing. We will not take any amendments from the floor verbally. All in favor, raise your hand. Okay. All opposed, raise your hand. This would take a two-thirds to pass. Point of I order. believe that we have the chief two-thirds. I, I don't believe that the uh, platform committee ever spoke in favor of this amendment, other than reading the rationale. Do we have been? I see that it was passed ten to zero. The original language. Uh, would it be in order for the platform committee to address that and to speak for the motion? All I've heard is people speak against it and amend it. There's a question, point of order, point of information. Yeah. Uh, committee members are welcome to address any, uh, any of these proposals. I like the original language. The rules are suspended to allow uh, verbal uh, submission of Amendments to the motion for this motion. Andrew, go ahead. Are we back to the debate of the amendment to add both uh, phrases now? We are on the amendment to add the wording. I'm going to I'm going to read the following. I'm going to read as it would be amended. Random police roadblocks and other searches without probable cause bypass constitutional protections and violate individual rights and should be prohibited. The amendment as reflected on the screen should read um, that we are no longer striking bypass constitutional protections. We are inserting the word and and that is the that is the amendment on the whole. Um, so I would uh, speak against the amendment. I would generally um, echo the sentiments that Mr. Fulner expressed. Um, 
and I would move to call all the questions related to this motion so we can address this amendment. I think we've covered the both sides of the debate um, one way or the other that we can settle this amendment and consider the main motion in whatever form it. So we have a call the question call for the amendment. Second. Calling all questions. Second. Calling all questions. We go up to the main motion. Calling all questions. Amendment and original. The amendment and sorry. The main Calling the amendment discussion and the main motion discussion. Okay. So the vote will be on the amendment first. And if I could also apologize for the can of worms on the rule suspension to everybody. <laughs> So we have a call to question that's been seconded on the amendment. Um, so we will be voting on the amendment. And again, the call to call to call to question. Thank you. we will vote on the call to question for the amendment. All in favor of calling the question on the amendment, raise your hand. Okay, all opposed, raise your hand. Okay, that passes. It is called to question. So this is for the amendment to remove striking the striking of bypass constitutional protections and insert the word and, as it should be shown on the screen. All in favor of this amendment, raise your hand. Okay, all opposed, raise your hand. The amendment fails. So we are back to the main motion, which I believe there was a proposal to call to question on that that was seconded. We have a call to question. This is a vote on call to question. So a vote on calling to question for the main proposal. In favor, raise your hand. On calling to question. Okay. All opposed, raise your hand. Okay. So we have, um, this has been called to question. So we are now on the main proposal. If adopted, the platform will now read under section 3.8, random police roadblocks and other searches without probable cause violate individual rights and should be prohibited. If in favor of this, raise your hand. Okay. If opposed, raise your hand. Passes. We'll go under Vice Laws 5.1. The wording that's stricken under proposed is going to be removed, and the underlined and bolded section that is not stricken would be added to the platform. If adopted, it would read Government should confine itself to protecting individuals from aggression, coercion, and deceit. We oppose all laws and regulations that attempt to protect individuals from the consequences of their own behavior. While we, while not condoning such activities, we advocate the repeal of all laws criminalizing gambling possession and possession of sale of possession slash sale of drugs, alcohol, and other substances. All those presently incarcerated or ever convicted solely for the commission of these victimless crimes should be pardoned and their records expunged. The, re the rationale for this is that um, it is intended to be uh, to both provide clearer wording and expand the meaning to include the additional substances such as tobacco, tobacco and vape. Do we have any discussion? I'd like to make a motion to amend. It's a simple change where we use the slash in between possession, sale of drugs, to simply turn that slash into an or. The reasoning is we don't use a slash anywhere else on the platform. It's kind of awkward and for styling. Do we have a second? Second. 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 Okay, we have a motion and a second. Discussion now is on removing the slash and replacing it with the word or. Call the question. Second. Call to question has been seconded. So we're going to vote on the call to question for removing the slash and replacing it with or. All in favor of calling to question, raise your hand. All opposed to calling to question, raise your hand. That passes. So we are calling that to question. We are voting on replacing the slash with the or. All in favor? 
Raise your hand. Okay. All opposed, raise your hand. That passes. We are now on the main motion. Scotty, do you have discussion on the main motion? Yes, I do. Um, there is the the spirit of this proposal is to um, is a, is regarding what people might do to themselves and what could be a threat to themselves and not others by extending this to all other substances. This would include, for instance, uranium two thirty five. Um, it does. It's a substance, correct? And so certain substances may present a hazard to others and not just necessarily oneself. Even the mere possession and walking around with, for instance, uranium-235 or a container full, full of um, certain viruses, for instance, um, could potentially hurt other people around you who are not willing participants in your activity. Is there a... Is there that's, that, oh, that's it's speaking against. Oh, <laughs> yes, art, you'll cure, cure on reason. I'm not sure that we, uh, I, or rather I, I would say I would amend this uh, so that we do not delete the word necessarily. If we say, while not condoning such activities like gambling and possession and sale of drugs, well, that's, that's saying that we don't condone. If we, if we, if we put in the, if we strike out the word necess necessarily, it says that we are not condoning gambling, sale of drugs, or alcohol. It's, it's not logical, but, but I think the logic is, is uh, wrong. Is that a proposal to amend? A proposal to amend uh, this uh, 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 proposed text uh, by Breaking. not removing necessarily. Okay. Second. 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 We have a second. So we are on the amendment to remove striking not necessarily, and we'll leave that in the text. We have any discussion on that? Yeah. Jim, go ahead. Uh, Jim from Armada, I want to thank Art. I was coming here to do the exact same thing he did. So, old guys were together for once, hey? <laughs> so, yeah, it's exactly the point. I don't want anybody to come back later and say, oh, but the libertarians specifically say they don't condone gambling. I think we are all pretty good for uh, you know all that kind of stuff, but hey, not necessarily. So my grandma still has it. I have an excuse why I can be here. So uh, I was the one who made this recommendation. The reason is is because we don't take a position on a part as a party on whether or not gambling is good or bad. We don't take a position on whether or not the possession of drugs or sale of drugs is good or bad. So we when we leave that wishy washy language of saying while not necessarily condoning, why don't we just say a reality? The truth is, we don't condone these things. We understand people have a right to do it, but as a party, we don't take a position saying that it's good to do these things. And I think that's why it's important that we clarify the language. I think, I think the necessarily adds clarification, because I think the phrase simply not condone sounds like we condemn, which I know logically it doesn't mean that. I understand the logic that Mr. Allison brought up, but I think people hearing it will think that we're saying we're condemning the activities when we're not, because people will, will take it that way. Uh, Bill Craybaum from Ann Arbor. Um, yeah, I think uh, necessarily should not be in there because as a party we do not condone drug use we do not condone gambling we don't condone uh, saying nice things to your mother we don't uh, we don't take a position on almost everything and we shouldn't um, we should make it clear you know we don't condone it uh, as a party and that leaves the door open for all kinds of libertarians to personally condone such behavior but as a party, I think we should be clear that we're not even necessarily condoning anything. Thank you. Hello, I'm Andrew Trader from Wincom. Um, I would say that the 
I agree with the logic used for defining the removal of the word, but I think the inclusion of the word better serves those purposes because, as the previous speakers have stated, we don't have a position on those things, so necessarily it implies that both of the outcomes are, um, you know, within the party platform. You know, people may choose individually to endorse those or condone those. People may choose not to. So I think necessarily captures that most inclusively. Did you call the question? Call the question. Is there a second? Second. And that's been seconded. So all in favor of calling the question, raise your hand. Okay. All opposed, raise your hand. Okay. Question has been called. So we are on the amendment to remove striking the word necessarily. All in favor of leaving the word necessarily in the platform, raise your hand. Jason Barton from Saginaw. Uh, I just wanted to quickly touch on something that was touched on before we got into the necessarily debate that we just had there. Um, the problem with trying to limit the substances and not just say and other substances is, is then we are deciding what substances are to, uh, okay for the government to regulate, which is not our stance as a party. Our party has always been the, it is not my job to regulate the substances that the people <laughs> next door to me use. And that's just all I have to say on that. I'm not seeing any additional discussion or anybody looking for. Right, yeah, I would like to make an amendment. Too late. And, no, this, you can't make an amendment on this motion, why not? No. Okay, someone's saying too late. All right. When it says government at the beginning, um, I, I want to change, replace that. Well, have it, first of all, make the capital G small case and have in front of it, so long as it exists, comma, actually, if, if, if radically correct, government should confide. So put the words as long as it exists. That's not your name. Government should confine itself to protecting individuals from aggression. And it's because we've already brought the Dallas Accords, and right now it's really saying that we should have government, because government should. We're saying what the government should do. And um, this presupposes that we should have a government. <coughs> Is there a second for that amendment? I believe the amendment is out of order. The question was called on yeah, the uh, amendments already. No, that was on that particular amendment. Yeah. It was for all. It had not yet been Either way, there hasn't been a second. I don't have a second yet. Is there a second for that for Scotty's amendment? Okay. I heard a second over here. Yeah, we've got an amendment and we've got it seconded to add the word so long uh, as for information. With a small, comma, small g. It, is it germane to have a amendment to a portion of the plank which was not proposed to be amended by the platform committee? The, pro the proposed 
the proposal is the uh, the alteration of plank five one. So you're ruling because the committee chose to amend this plank at all that you believe any amendment to the plank is in order? Yes. Any amendment with the second? Yes. Is this an amendment? There's no. Yeah. No, it's not an amendment to an amendment. It's the first amendment. We have a second. Is there any discussion? <laughs> any discussion? Call the question. Call the question. Second. Second. Okay. So we have a call to question and seconded. Let me give Dan just a second to make sure we get it on the screen. I believe the wording is. At the beginning of one, it would read, so long as it exists, comma, small g, government. And I'm condoning that change. Is that in order? It has been seconded. Your original wording was proposed and seconded. Is there objection to taking, uh, to accepting the modified wording as shown on the screen? So, can you read that off to me? Government where it exists should confine itself. Okay. Government where it exists. So, adding the words where it exists after government. Is there any discussion on that? Call the question. Seconded. Call the question and seconded. So vote on calling question. All in favor, raise your hand. Any opposed to calling to question, raise your hand. Okay. We, uh, uh, the question has been called. We are voting on the amendment to add the wording where it exists after the first word of the, of the section where it says government. And we now say government where it exists. All in favor of this amendment, raise your hand. All opposed, raise your hand. Statists. <laughs> <laughs> Currently have it at 23-24. So I have it 23 in favor and 24 against. Let's do a stand, we're going to do a standing vote. So we're going to do a standing vote to verify my count. All in favor of adding the wording, um, the wording is shown on the screen, the amendment, uh, government, where it exists. We stand. Come on, people. <laughs> On the flip sides. Exactly. Everywhere you say government, Tim, are you standing? Tim, are we on open floor at this point? Yes. 
Uh, point of information, what was the uh, count on that last vote and was that the two-thirds? It was 3127 for the amendment which requires 50%. No, the platform requires two-thirds. The platform, the main motion for the platform the requires two-thirds. Doesn't it doesn't differentiate between amendments or the main motion. It just says platform and requires two-thirds. Ruling of the chair that that is not the case that has been addressed. We have two minutes. We have two minutes. Is there a motion to extend time? Yes, a motion to extend time to finish consideration of the current uh, platform plan. How uh, long? Five minutes to conduct a vote on the main motion, I believe. We have a motion and we have a second to extend for five minutes to bring us, <laughs> I believe the extend five minutes would be one minute from now. I believe we are over. Can you say 335? To 335? Yes, please. Okay. The motion to extend to 335 to conduct the vote on this motion from the floor. And it's been seconded. If, a, if in favor of extending to 335, raise your hand. Okay, if opposed to extending, raise your hand. That passes. Okay, we are extending to 335 to consider the motion on the floor. Call the question. We have a call the question, and it has been seconded. The only alteration to the original proposal was removing slash and replacing it with the word or. That would read, government should combine itself to protecting individuals from aggression, coercion, and deceit. We oppose. Thank you. Did necessarily pass. Mm -hmm. So necessarily is it correct? Yes. Okay. The motion would now read. Government, where it exists, should confine itself to protecting individuals from aggression, coercion, and deceit. We oppose all laws and regulations that attempt to protect individuals from the consequences of their own behavior. <coughs> behavior. While not necessarily condoning such activities, we advocate the repeal of all laws criminalizing gambling and possession or, or sale of drugs, alcohol, and other substances. All those presently incarcerated or ever convicted solely for the commission in the for the commission of these victimless crimes should be pardoned and the records expunged. Okay. We have a vote on calling to question. So all in favor of calling to question on that. Okay. All opposed? Thank you. Okay. So we've called the question on that. All in favor of the uh, um, of the proposal, raise your hand. to table the platform report to the July convention. Second. 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 40 to 11. We have a motion with a second to table the remainder of this report to the July convention.
there any, dis and we had a second on that, is there any discussion on it? Yes. All the yeah. Yes, sir. I'd like to oppose that uh, with platform not originally having slated for this convention and put us in a pretty good time crunch. We will definitely be in a time crunch at the next convention. This should be tabled until the next convention where platform would normally come up, which would be 2023. Yeah. Any additional discussion? I second what he said. Thanks. I was looking to speak in favor of tabling to be resumed at the July convention. The platform committee put a great deal of work into these proposals, prepared 10 proposals to be submitted to the body. I think it would be disrespectful to the work of the committee to um, discard the work that was done and uh, not give that fair hearing in front of the commission uh, convention body. Point of information, we're going to have another convention in August and platform debate will be part of that convention. So why would one want to remove it from that convention and move it to 2023? All right, that's a question. I guess the information is that we have another convention coming up. Yeah. I believe, the is, I believe the information is that it is not currently planned for that convention. And there is a proposal to table this and what add it. We've always said platform debate uh, every year. Definitely at the meeting. Is there in more discussion or do I hear a call to question? I Orders of the day. I have a, against the motion on the floor. Uh, the remaining items, none of these were a majority of the platform. Oh, not a, a missing a majority, but none of them were unanimous. Uh, if you look at the remaining ones, some of them had as few as eight votes for, seven votes for. I think that at this point we can drop the remaining proposals and the next platform committee will work with a clean slate. Thank you. Orders of the day. I speak against the motion. All right. We are now. Um, can somebody check the status of our vote count and see if we can make it? I was hoping we can make the announcement before we start over the floor. But if not, it's not necessary. <laughs>